Hi everyone, Josh here, and I wanted to take a few minutes today to go over a question that I've uh, seen many people ask recently about their computer and specifically their laptop, and that's why does Windows update so often? Or why does Windows update so much? Or why is it that every time I open my laptop or turn on my computer or turn off my computer, Windows seems to be updating? And, uh, you know, it's a common issue. The Windows update jokes are everywhere. And basically the issue that people have is not necessarily usually that Windows 10 is actually updating, but it's that it always seems to happen at the wrong time. So the first thing I wanna kind of point out here um, is that, you know, there are a lot of options you have for Windows 10 update, and you have the option to pause those updates, you know, change when those updates occur, change how and when the computer restarts, and really you have a lot of things that you can do to, uh, to affect the timing of these updates that you may not be taking advantage of. Um, now, one thing I also want to point out is that for those of you using a laptop, it might seem as though these updates come more often or at least uh, you know, at times that it's the most inconvenient. And there's one major reason for that, and that's that laptop users tend to close their laptop when they're done working. Uh, and what does that do? That prevents your computer from doing anything else. It basically shuts it down. So if there's an update pending, it won't happen. If you have Windows updates set up so that it will restart at a certain hour and get the update taken care of, uh, you know, when you're not actively using it, it's not gonna do that. So what happens is, is when you open your laptop back up, it hits the update and it seems like it happens every single time. So what I want to do is go through a few things today um, that are going to let it's going to let you um, you know make changes to the way Windows handles the updates and a couple of tricks that you can use to pause those updates or even uh, stop them from happening uh, pretty much permanently. Okay, now I do want to point out before I go into anything else that Windows updates are important. Okay, they are important. Windows 10 does do uh, you know different kinds of updates, and some are more important than others. They uh, have a big, what they call a feature update every six months. That feature update normally includes just what it sounds like, new features, uh, changes to existing features, uh, features, but usually this is a sizable update. This is gonna add things to Windows, okay? And then uh, they also have what are known as quality updates, which are bug fixes, uh, you know, security patches, and other things that are basically improving the experience of the existing version of Windows. Maybe even fixing a problem that a recent feature update introduced um, you know, because uh, it wasn't found during testing, okay? So I wanna point out that, yes, Windows does update pretty often, but the major updates are actually pretty, you know, every six months, that's not too often. What most people are seeing when they see these updates hit them is the, the quality update, the security update, and these are very important. So I would say, um, you know, in the beginning, I'm gonna show you how to, uh, you know, manage this update process. It's best if you will actually, you know, set it up so that you can get to a place where the updates are happening and it doesn't affect your workflow, but you still let the, update, uh, the updates happen, okay? So how are we gonna do that? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, Windows search bar, and I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna type in updates. Check for updates, okay? Now, you can see here uh, the Windows update screen. Um, you can manually check for updates here, you can manually install them, you can do a lot of things, but the whole point of the update process is it's supposed to be behind the scenes, right? So we wanna make this as easy as possible to use. We wanna make sure that you don't have to worry about it, okay? so. First thing I wanna show you is the active hours. So if you go into the active hours tab, you can automatically adjust the active hours that this device, uh, that you're using the device. So this would be your working hours. If you use this computer for work, um, you know, if it's at the office or if it's at home, but you work from home, this would be basically when you're working. So this would tell Windows never to update or do anything during these hours so that it won't mess anything up, okay? So if yours, I think eight to five is the default. If yours is, uh, not set to that, or if you have working hours that are outside of this normal range, then you can change that here and do whatever you want and make whatever change that you want. And that way, at least, um, you know, you, want, uh, you won't have something happen while you're actually working on the computer. Now, if you go down to the next one here, uh, you can go to the advanced options, okay? Um, now, 
the one, the one I want to show you here is that there is an update notification. You can show notification when your PC requires a restart to finish updating. Because if you have these updates going, if you don't stop them, they will download in the background while you're working. And the question is basically when will they actually install those updates and when will it restart your computer? So if you, if you toggle this on, you'll get a notification when it's requiring you to do that. So if you're not using your computer, you can just go ahead and restart it then. You won't have to worry about it and you can come back to it later, okay? Now, the other thing I wanna point out is that you can pause these updates, okay? So you can see here right on the first screen, you have a button that says pause updates for seven days. If you click that, boom, the device won't be up to date while updates are paused. Upgrades are paused. Updates will uh, resume on 12 23 2020. So that's seven days from now. Okay. Now you can click on that again and again and again and again up to, I think it's 35 days, right? So now I have it all the way to January 20th and today's uh, December 16th. So you can see that gives you quite a bit of time. Now you can resume that at any time and it'll automatically check again for an update. So, but you can pause it there. You can also go into advanced options and under the pause update section, you can select a specific date that you'd like to pick again up to that uh, January 20th or 35 days. Okay. Now the advantage to picking a day like this is you could put it onto a weekend or you could put it onto a day that you're not normally using your computer. But again, if you don't leave your computer on all the time, then this doesn't matter as much, right? So a laptop that you turn off at the end of the workday is not going to benefit from this because it's still going to try to get those updates in when you open it back up or when you shut it down or when you restart your computer and that may cause an issue, okay? So the easiest way to stop the updates is to uh, actually just go in and pause them here. Uh, now there's one trick that I will show you that you can use to actually basically permanently stop the updates. Again, I don't recommend that you do that. It's probably best that you have, uh, you know, you set it up so that you can get your updates, um, you know, in the normal business hours or outside of business hours or while you're asleep or whatever you want to do. Um, but what you can do is this. If you go into the advanced options, you'll see that there is uh, the second one down is download updates over meter connections. It's currently set to off and it's set to off by default. Now, the reason why this is normally off by default is that if you had, like let's say that you um, had a connection or a Wi-Fi connection um, to a mobile network or something like that where you had a certain amount of data each month, that's a, a metered connection, right? If you, if you use more than the amount of data that you have, then you will end up spending more or maybe the data just gets cut off completely. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna back out of the settings here and you're gonna type network into the little search bar here. You can go to network status there just to get onto this screen. Now you'll notice here on the left that you have some uh, options here. One of those is Wi-Fi. Now note, this trick only works if you're on a Wi-Fi connection. If you have an ethernet cord plugged into your computer or your laptop and that's what you use for your internet, this won't work because you can't meter a, uh, an ethernet connection. But if you do have a Wi-Fi connection, if you're using Wi-Fi on your laptop or you uh, even have a desktop with a Wi-Fi option um, as I am using, then this will be here on the left panel. You'll have Wi-Fi. Um, if you go down to the, uh, if you go down to manage known networks, okay, it'll open up the networks that you have used or connected to in the past. You click on that one and you go to, or whichever one you're connected to, you go to properties. Now down at the bottom, you have the option to set this as a metered connection. Now this won't really affect anything um, under normal circumstances um, in terms of your other apps or games or whatever else you're using. But if you set this to a meter connection, Windows Update will no longer uh, update as long as you're connected to this particular Wi-Fi network unless you go back and then turn it off and then you can check for updates again. So what this could do is if you wanna just set your updates so that you do them manually at certain times, you can set this as a meter connection and then uh, whenever you're ready or you have time to do the update, you just come back in, turn the meter connection off and then you can go back to the Windows Update settings um, and you will be able to resume. Um, and you can see just as we're talking, uh, Windows uh, found an update. It uh, looks like a just a small patch, but it's pending restart because it actually has downloaded in the background. Um, now, if you happen upon this, um, and again, you, you don't have time to do it, or maybe you get a notification saying that your computer is ready, you can actually click here to schedule the restart. 
and this will allow you to pick a time today, tomorrow, in the future. Um, so see, it gives you up to five days where you can actually select a time for it to restart. Again, this will only work if you leave your computer on all the time or you're willing to leave it on for certain days that you plan on doing the update. So hopefully this is helpful for you. Uh, again, you know, Windows updates are important. The biggest thing though for laptops especially and why it seems like uh, Windows, 10, Windows 10 updates all the time is that with Windows uh, 10 users on a laptop uh, typically are not going to have their computer on uh, during the time that Windows Update would try to restart the computer and get those updates taken care of behind the scenes. Windows wants to do it behind the scenes. So if it's, you know, if you're having trouble with it, you know, consider leaving your laptop on overnight, consider doing the manual updates, whatever it is, you know, you can find a system that works for you. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions about Windows Update, um, uh, whether it's on a computer, desktop computer, a laptop, or anything else, be sure to drop a comment below asking a question. I will be sure to answer it or maybe even make a video about your question at a later date. And if you gain value from this video, I would invite you to like the video and to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this helping you with your computer needs and giving the opportunity to ask other questions. And that is all for today.